waiting for a subway in Manhattan because we're going to a pottery class for Brooke's, for Brooke's Christmas present. She wanted to do some pottery, some stuff. So we're in the city. Right now we're going to pottery. Then something, you know, after that. Yeah, I don't know about this next thing. And we're going to a pasta bar, which Brooke loves so much. I'm so excited. Let's wait for the train to pass. Like I was saying, I've been there one time. Paul was actually with me, but we had come from an event before and he ate all the elders. Oh, they were so So good. he didn't need any food. I didn't need that first time. I had the best truffle pasta dish I've ever had in my life and I get it any chance that I can. So I'm getting that! And it's cool, we're sitting at the chef's counter, so- Don't tell him too much. You'll see. Third train of the day so far, and we just got into the city. And usually, like, we're waiting a while for trains, but everything's coming quick. Yeah, quick this is honestly so lucky, girl. Said girl of us. It's girl math. It's girl mathing. Pretty good I at girl math. That shirt to <laughs> oh, this zoom is definitely slow. It's a very quiet train. We took the Long Island Railroad in one subway, and now we're on our second subway. Let's go. I got this little brioche sandwich. It's got a hard boiled egg, some olive spread, like an olive tapenade, jam. It looks like it would be amazing. Can I smell it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't like olives. So we're actually at one of the Moxie hotels, and I actually stayed here for Fashion Week last year. Last year, that's weird. It's January, we're getting used to it. And I had no idea that there was a little fucking cute-ass cafe. We were ordering coffee, breakfast, everything to the room every single morning. From other places. From other places, that's don't fashion me. And there's a fucking cafe. Anyway, it's a vibe. Heading in to make pottery. Oh my god, it's so cute. This is scary. In New York City, you could be walking into somewhere that looks like terrifying. And then it can be the most beautiful grand thing you've ever seen. Nobody signed up for the class, so you will be alone. Okay, so we just got here. I just put all my rings on my necklace. And I might have just invented something really cute with it. Well, I didn't invent it. But we just got here, and I'm so excited. We have to pick what we are going to do. So we could either just do the pottery with no glaze, or we can paint over it like so. And you have to like paint over it to be able to use like a functional, let's say, bowl or yeah, cup. Yeah, you have to like, if you want to drink something out of it, you have to fire it with the um, glaze. So what do you want to do? I don't know. It's going to start us two hours, and we're the only ones who are signed up for the class. So, so we get a little private class. So these are a bunch of little inspo pieces. I feel like I definitely want to put the glaze over it because I totally want to make myself a mug. These advanced ones. I don't know what I want to make. Oh. Show them what you're looking for. For milk. That's cute. How cute. I like this. I love this. I like that too. This one's really good. That's really cute too for like a plant. I couldn't be more excited right now. So, 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 Okay, so we're about to throw our pottery. Here's what we're working with so far. This is mine, and that's Paul's. I love them. This is the beginning of our mugs. I'm so excited. Are you excited? I am. Are you happy about your outcome? I am. We're gonna spruce it up in the design aspect. This is so fun. I'm so happy we have a class to ourselves. Guys, I'm so dumb for wearing my brand new shoes, but I'm so short that the apron covers my shoes, so we're pretty good for the most part. Super careful. Okay. 
Oh my god, I love the top, Paul. So it's a circle mug, but with yes. a square top. finished at the pottery studio. It was a lot of fun. And now we're walking two stores over to go to the Prince Tea House. And I have something to say. So you see we're right here in front of this Prince Tea House, right? Every single morning when I say that, that hotel in that room, I watch this place open their freaking garage that they have here. And I was like, oh my God, that place looks so cute. And they have like flowers in here. And I remember just being so obsessed. Really just like ironic that Paul planned this. <laughs> But also, guys, so they let us take home abandoned pottery, and one of them says, flowers for Sam. Obviously, I had to get it for my girl, Sammy. Yeah, there's a bunch in here. I'll give you a haul later. We're at the Prince Tea House. We just ordered, and we got a smoked salmon sandwich. Avocado salad and a passion fruit tea. I don't know, this place is a vibe. You'll see the spread when it comes. Oh wow. Oh it's fast. Thank you so much. So we got non-caffeinated passion and a bunch of different fruit tea. And I'm gonna try it for the first time. It smells amazing. Yeah. It's like juice. I wish you guys could oh, really see so the color. Hot. How could you say that's not hot? I don't know. Look how vibrant it is. And this is so cute. No, this is amazing. I love you. I love you too. They're playing such good music. And I'm so excited. This is not enough dressing, I'll tell you that right now. This dressing smells so good. Is this a push? Oh. Thank you. It's you too. Fun. Okay guys, so we just finished at the little tea house. That was such a great experience. We've never been to anything so like that. It was so good. Now we're walking over to another restaurant. All we do is eat. That's, a, that's the only nothing. way I want it to be, honestly. And we're just kind of like stopping in a few stores as we go. I'm really happy that we walked. Well, I lost him because, oh, Kylie has a collab with this company, Acne Studios. I would have never known of them if it wasn't for her. It's freezing, but you know, we're used to it. Guys, this is such a pretty building. We are walking, walking, walking. We're about to have an absolutely amazing meal. We have but we're, so much time. Yeah, we're kind of just killing time, window shopping, going in some places. I'm loving it. Me too. We walked past a store that had a gigantic like what? pit bull. It wasn't a pit bull. It was like a Italian bull mastiff maybe, yes. like mix. Wow, you're good. <sighs> Thank you. We walked past the store and it's sitting on the checkout desk. And I was oh like, God, honestly, I would love to go in there, but no. Like we were obsessing over the dog, but I was but like, I don't he think- he looked like he, lo he was, he was like a, ready he was on to guard. Kill. And I was like, I'm not trying to get my face bit. He was like taller than me on that thing. No, that was crazy. But it was, I was like, Paul made such a good point. He was like, you definitely lose customers that way because we totally would have went into the store. But Brooke was like, mm. I was like, I don't really want to take that chance because you just never know. We're in one of our favorite stores called What Goes Around Comes Around and it's all vintage designer pieces. Right now we're in the vintage section of like clothing and like um, more streetwear, I guess you could say. But in the front, it's all like beautiful, beautiful bags and it's like mainly Chanel. And I'm just obsessed unreal but there's so many workers and I don't want to film. Yes. So we're here at Apostle Bar. I'm so excited. We just got our drinks. Wait till you see our view. It's phenomenal. We actually switched our seats because Paul wanted a better view of the kitchen. This is so beautiful. Cheers my baby. Oh, that's good. I love Prosecco. So this place is so cool because you'll see it. It's literally called the pasta bar because we're sitting at a bar and they're cooking the pasta right in front of us. It's really unique. Brooke just said it to me before. A closed mouth doesn't get fed, right? Closed mouth never gets fed. We were sitting in a different spot where we didn't get a lot of action. So I did ask the hostess if we can move and here we are. And she's right with that saying. If he would have never said anything, we would have sat in the behind the chefs and he wouldn't have gotten the experience that he wanted. Yeah. But he just opened his mouth and they moved us right away. You always ask what you want. That, that might be the dessert corner over there. But anyway, Brooke's getting the truffle pasta. I'm still deciding. I'm going to have a wrap. We're going to have a nice day. Let's do it. We deserve it. This is what my dream. 
dreams are made of, okay? I could not be any happier right now, but I do need a spoon. We've been talking about this process. Okay, here we go. Ever. We had the best experience. We had a great waiter. He just kissed Brooke. He just kissed Brooke. Like he was so Italian. He's from Italy and he asked where I was from and where my family was from, or whatever. And I said New York, but like I'm Italian. Paul said a little bit of Irish. And I said, My dad always says, the Italian and the Irish, they make you babies. He said, That's right, that's right. <laughs> so we're on our way to the train. Rushing as usual. Probably gonna be running at literally as we usual. Can't like afford to run because I'm a robot. No, literally I'm so full. I ate every last actually there was one bite left because I just could not I couldn't fit it. Let's get to the train. Oh, come back, come back, come back. No, no. Guys, the camera has been going <laughs> to die for the past right, like right. four hours. What time is it? Are we gonna make this train? Oh, we're good. We got at least 20 minutes. We are on our way to the Long Island Railroad. Finishing off the vlog in my bed. And here we are watching Emily in Paris, one of our favorite shows. It is such a vibe. Oh, I also got this uh, carafe for my room and it comes with these cups and we have them on his little ledge. We have the whole setup. Don't worry, we've got it all figured out over mm -hmm. here. If you want any of those links, you can follow me on Instagram. You can also follow him on Instagram. But we had such a good day. Thank you for all of our little food and our adventures. I love you. We had a lot of fun making this video and running around the city, basically eating anything that we can. Yeah. <laughs> and um, thanks for coming along. Good night. See you in the next video. Like and like and subscribe. <laughs>